Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy. If you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for returning. If you are new here, please subscribe. Please like this video. Please share this video. Please, please disperse it out. Okay, it is free to subscribe. It'll be fun over here. Um, the content that I will provide is lifestyle, makeup, um, definitely nursing in my nursing um, journey. Uh, I am a current accelerating nursing student at west coast university um i will start nursing core of april of 2024 um and yeah right now i'm just taking chemistry and then next semester i'll be taking pathophysiology and then after that it'll be april and i'll be starting my nursing core so um, in today's video we will be discussing um the process of the hesse exam I wanted to make this video to give you guys a little bit more insight as far as how the process works and what will be expected on the HESI exam. Um, so for starters, the tools that I used, I always look on YouTube to see if anybody else has insight as far as um, the HESI exam. And I also looked on Google. If you type in HESI exam, practice quizzes, they have different websites um, for you to do practice questions on. I can put those um, websites um below in the description box and i also used um this book right here this was my holy grail this was my holy grail i got this from amazon i don't know or i don't remember exactly how much it was but it'll be right here for you guys to see the price of this but it's just hesse a2 secret study guide um and inside this it has all the test preparation that you need it has all the subjects that you need and it'll tell you exactly what those subjects consist of and what you'll be tested on so for west coast university we um was tested on math reading grammar and vocabulary so there were no sciences um it depends on your school i know some schools they'll have you take anatomy and physiology um and then I think it's always it's, it always will be your math and then your um, your reading and your your vocabulary. But as far as the math subject, um, they will test you on basic operations. They'll test you on fractions, um, percentages and related concepts and then also algebra um, with the math. Um, oh, and it also tests you on um, military time and conversions. So it'll have all of this in here. So if you if you go to the pages where, cause on here, let me show you. It'll it has like each subject, what it'll be consist of, and how many questions that will be on the test. Um, so for the math part, it was fifty questions, and I think you have a minute for each question that you have so you'll have 50 minutes to complete that math part um and on here in the book it'll um give you like definitions of what an even number is um integers odd numbers decimal numbers it'll give you all those definitions and then at the end of this portion it'll give you a practice quiz for you to take and it'll also be like that for the other um subjects so for math, it's 50 questions. For reading comprehension, it's 47. For vocab and grammar, they're both 50 questions a piece too. So, um, and with the grammar part, um, it'll quiz you on word um, confusion, agreement, and sentence structure, and then also the eight parts of the speech. And then for reading comprehension, it'll basically do the main idea, subjects. Um, I'm I'm sorry supporting details context purpose and tone facts and opinion and summarizing the whole um passage now for the math part um i can definitely link that down below um it's a quizlet that i use and i practice on before i took the test it has practice questions also has to answer for you and i've seen those exact questions on the test and some of these that are in this HESI book, the exact questions are on the test. Um, I will say that it took me two times to pass the test. So the first time, uh, 
the first time when I took the test, everything, this quiz that I'm about to provide for y'all for the reading section, every single passage from this reading Quizlet was on the HESI. Every last question. That was the highest grade that I made. If you do, let's just say, have to take the HESI again, I don't know about your school, but for my school personally, if you have to take it the second time, they keep your highest grade. If you want to keep that highest reading grade, they'll keep that. And then you'll basically just have to retake your math, your grammar, and your vocabulary. If you want to, you can retake the reading part if you want to and get a higher grade, but they only take the highest grade out of two attempts that you take. So the reading part, it was the highest grade. Literally every freaking passage that I seen was on the Quizlet and I wish I would have went more depth into it. I passed it, but I wish I would have went more depth into that Quizlet because I probably would have made like a 90 or whatever. I made an 80 on that section, but I wish I would have went more depth into it. Because when I was taking the test, I was like, <gasps> click. Like, I didn't even have to read the passage because I knew the answers. You know what I'm saying? So, that for the reading will be linked below. The um, math portion of it will be linked below. I will say that um, I will provide the app for you that I did use. You just need to know your conversions. You need to know your Fahrenheit to Celsius, your Celsius to Fahrenheit. You need to know that um, that conversion. And you also um, need to know your gallons, your pints, your cups, your quarts. You need to know those conversions also because you will be asked on that. And then I think the main one was mostly algebra and then also um, like decimal places. So for math and reading, that's what you need to know. Um, as far as grammar, um, you just really need to know um, which one is a sentence, which one is a run on sentence. You need to know when you need to have your nouns, your verbs, your adjectives. You need to know the difference from those. And in this book, it gives you definitions um, of the nouns and the verbs and adjectives in this book for you to um to learn um i will also put down a little bit of websites that i've used so what i personally did i just typed in hesse grammar practice quiz practice questions i'm sorry when you search that up a lot of them pop up i would print them out i'll take the test and then i'll go back and look at the answers and then i'll see what i missed and then if you constantly keep taking the practice questions It'll just click in your head. It'll just, it'll make sense. And it'll be easy for you to um, take the test. And then as far as the vocabulary, that was, that was literally, that part, it just irked my nerves. Because you just don't know which vocabulary questions or which vocabulary words they will ask you for. You don't know. So, I... It was kind of hard for me to figure out how exactly I needed to study for vocab. What I did was I literally used every last every last one of these um, vocabs that they provided in the book. I just used some of these and then I had this app which I will also provide for you um, just to get exposed to more words and different words just in case they'll ask, you know off the wall words but most of them are in here so more of the story is use this hesse book for your vocabulary for your grammar and then as far as your reading literally every passage and, and when i took the test the second time it didn't have every passage passage that it did before but it also did have most of the passages again in there so um please look at that quiz lip Please, please, please look at this Quizlet. Please, 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 please look at that Quizlet. Study that Quizlet. Understand the passage. Understand the questions that they're asking you and understand the answer. Once you get that and you take that test, comment, come back here, comment back down below and say thank you, Joy. Okay? I promise y'all. And then also the math part, um, what you just need to know is obviously the um conversions the equations for um the math equation for 
um, Fahrenheit Celsius and then also um, you just need to understand military time and then your decimal places and then algebra those um, I will link that down below the um, the math part in the Quizlet down below you just need to basically just practice so practice 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 I got this book um, maybe two weeks before I had to take the test I honestly did not open it until a week before I had to take the test I took it the first time I realized what I needed to take because I know for the HESI you have three attempts the first attempt you take if you don't pass you can retake it in a week the second attempt um, if you don't pass and I believe it's don't quote me on it i believe it's 90 days or 60 days that you have to wait until you retake the test if you fail the third time you can't get into the school you can't retake the hissy so um yeah i would say just play around with this look at it every now and then and then the week before hardcore take these tests because it doesn't you don't really need a lot of time to um study this now if you do have to take a science from your school i would definitely say study that more than anything but if it's just like um your grammar your english your reading um and your vocabulary and your math if you have to take those it it's really basic Yo, things i got cut off again i don't know why it keeps getting hot to where it, it cuts off but um that was everything that i needed to provide for you guys for the hesse exam now i will say um what also helped me is flashcards for the um vocab um so yeah um just conclude everything just make sure that you look at those quizlets quizlets that i'll provide for you for the reading and the math part make sure you know your conversions your uh, military time your decimals and then a little bit of algebra process the please excuse my dear aunt sally make sure you know all of those and then as far as the vocab use the book and then also um write flashcards down just so you can kind of remember it um there will be apps that i will also provide down for you for you to use and um get little practice questions on and then also for the grammar um there is some quizlets out there for the grammar also and for vocab if you just type in hesse quizlets um and put in that particular subject then it should pop up for you um to use but i will have everything linked down below in the description box and then as far as um what you need to bring i would say don't bring anything because there will be proctors there they will take your phone they will tell you to put your purse um on the side of the wall or in the back they you can bring your own laptop but they will provide laptops for you they will provide charges for you they will provide a pencil for you and paper for you and when you finish with that paper you have to throw the paper away if you go to the bathroom your time will still tick on your test so just be mindful of that um other than that they will provide everything for you um once the only thing that i didn't like well i guess i liked and i didn't like it it was it was an in-between um they after every subject that you finish let's just say you do the reading first and that's what i did i did the reading first um because i felt like I had to read everything and then answer the questions to read multiple passages and I knew that was going to take longer. So when I did the reading first, it gave me the grade and I didn't like that because it just made me nervous. I'm like, okay, now I'm, I'm doing real good. And then when I got a low grade in vocab, it just made me, it just, I just got discouraged you know what i mean but then it also allowed you to know where you are and what you need to do in um i would say whenever you take the hesi test take your strongest subjects first so what i did was i took um i took reading took reading first i did math because reading and math are my strongest strongest subjects and then i took vocab and then i took grammar because grammar was completely easy and i knew vocab 
um will give me have a little it'll it'll stress me out a little bit but i knew not to take that last but the second time i took that last if that makes sense but take your strongest subjects first <coughs> and then finish <coughs> oh sorry and then finish out with your um your weakest subjects so you can go ahead and finish those fast so you can have enough time to do um have enough time left over for your weakest subjects um and that's it honestly if you have any questions or any concern regarding um the hesi let me know dm me my um my social medias will be down below so just dm me if you have any questions or any concerns that you have regarding the hesi and um there is one more thing I forgot to mention regarding the um, the score, right? So it just depends on each school. Um, I know for my school, it was a 76 or up. 76 or 72, I can't remember. Um, I believe it was a 76 or up that you had to have passed overall a cumulative with both i mean with all of the um subjects together you have to have a 76 overall so i would say just check with your school see which subjects they provide for you and what you need to be tested on and then you can get the book and then you could um also look up different practice questions and also um different um apps and stuff that you need to use based off of what your um school provides you to take so that will be it for this video if you guys have any questions or concerns please reach out to me um please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video